Hey, this is Brian coming to you from the Forbidden City. Let's check it out. Of course, the Forbidden City was made famous in the movie The Last Emperor, which was made in the 1980s. That's the entrance going in. And here's one of the courts. So the Forbidden City, of course, is in Beijing. And um, those those wires there are lightning rods. They're all over the whole city. Um, there has been, over hundreds of years, there have been many fires from lightning. So, But of course, the Forbidden City is in Beijing. It's one of the world's busiest tourist sites. It sees 100,000 people a day. As you can see, uh, amazing architecture. It's an amazing wonder. Uh, it is about 600 years old. And of course, um, in I believe 1911, as shown in the movie, the last emperor Puyi abdicated from his throne and uh, China became a republic. You can see here in this video that there are a number of inner sanctums. You keep going through gates and you go inside, inside, inside. Um, much of it, frankly, looks the same. Um, those stone figures you just saw there, dragons, everything. It's quite ornamental, but it serves a purpose. It drains water. And this piece, of course, is quite famous. This uh, is marble. It is one solid piece of marble, one complete piece. It was brought from a quarry hundreds of miles away, of course, when they built it 600 years ago. And uh, they had to make a highway of ice and pull it with 30,000 people. Um, as I said before, the Forbidden City is in Beijing, as you know. It is, uh, you can see there the air, it's quite polluted. And uh, the Gate of Heavenly Purity. Everything, every building has a name. Every gate has a name. There are over 1,000 rooms in the Forbidden City. Um, everything serves a purpose, it has a name. And um, only about 50% of the city, the palace complex, is open to the public. So you can see here in some of these images it is quite run down because of the pollution and because it's an open-air palace. This is one of the thrones, one of the many thrones. It's an open-air palace, so because of the the constant contact with the air which of is of course you know polluted and the moisture and so forth it has become slightly run down unfortunately now uh, just before I went here in uh, 2013 October 2013 I, I saw several documentaries that showed well they put two billion dollars into it which started in 08 because of the Beijing Olympics, blah, blah, blah. But frankly, I'm not going to lie, when I went there, I just didn't see that much restoration. I think quite a bit of money went, perhaps was wasted in planning. You can see here the difference between the restored and the unrestored. So when I talk about saying, you know, where's the, the $2 billion, I just don't see it because I, you don't see it. So I imagine all of the academic panels and the experts that were hired. I don't know if money was wasted, but see this here? This is a signature. Everything in the Forbidden Palace that was made has a signature of the person who made it. Um, this red room here is from the movie at when the emperor got married. And I'm showing this to you because here is the real red room. Um, of course, it's behind glass. Um, all of the good stuff, honestly, in the Forbidden City, it's worth going, but most of the good stuff you can't see it. It's just too valuable and too sensitive, and so they block it off from the air and from tourists, and you just can't see it. I've seen documentaries where many things were restored, and uh, it's closed to the public.